Oh, we've got visitors. Sally Knox. Who's that with her? Hello. I'm glad you're at home. I've brought a new neighbour to tea and I promised him some of Mrs. Cadogan's potato cakes. Mr. Shute was in the Royal Navy. I was. And then this old cousin of mine died and left me his estate. It's most obliging, really, considering the fact that I'd never even heard of him. Whereabouts is your property? Um, it's in that triangle between Hera Solis and Castle Knox. Oh, it's a great piece of luck for me, being so near to Miss Knox's place. I have no idea how to carry on in Ireland, but she's promised to make sure I don't go too far off course. Won't you find life rather dull around here, Mr. Shute, after the Royal Navy? Oh, I shan't give up the sea altogether. I mean to buy a yacht. Well, if you intend to sail your yacht around these coasts, you should get all the excitement that you need. <laughs> and Miss Knox has promised to find a horse or two for me. I thought I'd take up hunting. Oh, you're an experienced rider, are you? I wouldn't say experienced, but I used to ride in Malta. And I discovered it's better to fall off the front of a horse than its rear. <laughs> Sinclair, you never told me that. Uh. Mr. Shute thought of buying a hunter at the fair tomorrow. Oh, Sinclair, a hunter. Now, I'm sure Major Yates would like to buy you a hunter until Trinket's Colt is old enough. If I can find one that is suitable. Sinclair, I'm sure we will. Now, Miss Knox suggested that we go together. I'd be awfully glad of your advice, Major Yates. Oh, uh, yes, well, of course, if you think, uh, well, that is, I, I don't pretend to know much about horses. Don't worry, Major. Flurry will be there. All you have to do is bring your checkbook. Thank you.